welcome back uh, today i will discuss about the application of mppt uh, in wind energy generation system here i will uh, use 12.3 kilowatt wind turbine and a pmsc machine and uh, i will not use any drive train here okay so this will be a direct drive in pmsg based wind energy system with mppt so uh, i i opened a simulink window and uh, this is very important to tell you all that this solver setting is very important so carefully watch this here i will use fixed step and this solver is range kutta and here step size i will use that is 10 e power minus 6 and this all four blocks will be unchecked okay if you will use other than this solver setting you will not get a desired output so please be careful don't make any uh, mistakes while setting this solver setting so now i will use a power wheel as my entire work will be on uh, specialized simulink library so this is we will require here i will use discrete and the sample time is 20 e power minus 6 now i will use a wind turbine and okay in my previous video you will see that here is a strick okay and that is why see uh, the torque should be negative in case of generator okay but if you will use a uh, drive train then that drive train output will be negative okay so if we will see this wind turbine block inside just right click and this mask and look under the mask so here it is already minus that means this wind turbine is giving minus torque okay so if this one is minus and if your wind turbine drive train also will give minus then minus minus will be plus and with plus torque your generator will not behave as a generator okay so to modify that what i had did there that this minus i make one okay minus one i made one because of that changes there you will observe strict but in this case i am not going to use any drive train okay so this will be a direct drive pmsg based wind turbine means here i am not going to use any drive train generally wind uh, permanent magnet synchronous generator do not require any uh, drive train okay but most many researchers use that that's why i did that earlier okay so no need to modify here anything so this will be a 12.3 kilowatt kilowatt wind turbine so this parameters i will change 12.3 e power 3 and here 12.3 e power 3 i will take base speed 12 and here i will take 0.85 this is 1.2 i will keep noise and i will apply and beta will be 0 here i will not use any kind of pitch controller okay so i will use a constant sorry that is 
I will make 0 because beta is here I am considering 0. If you want to use a pitch controller please watch my previous video and from there try to develop a pitch controller and use that. And the base wind speed I will take 12 meter per second. So this is the V that is meter per second. Okay. Now I will use a permanent magnet synchronous machine. This one. And what are the modifications is here just watch carefully so I will use salient pole and here I will apply then I will use here the RS will be 0 0.0485 and this one is very important that is 0 0.395 e power 3 and this one i will use 0 0.395 e power 3 and here i will take 0 0.1194 and this all value will be as it is okay and this PMSG power rating will be 12 kilowatt. Okay, so this is PMSG permanent magnet synchronous generator. So uh, this wind turbine will give torque as per unit right so we have to convert it into actual value because this PMSG will take actual value so for that what we have to do already I said in previous video please make similar changes here so what will be the base torque So watch how I am developing the base torque. So this will be this is PM and we have taken PM is 12.3 e power 3 and here what will be the road generator speed rated generator speed that is given by lambda to speed divided by radius okay this will be the rated speed of the generator that is omega r one thing I would like to tell that for PMSG wind turbine generally the lambda value is 8.1 or 8.2 but if you will see the literatures uh, for the case of wind turbine uh, other than the PMSG the lambda value is 5 to 9 or 12 like that many research papers is claiming and wind speed will be more than the 12 meter per second and radius will be between 5 to 12 meter okay but uh, it is PMSG so accordingly I des uh, designed and I am getting 
8.1 star 12 divided by 1.3 so radius of the wind turbine here is 1.3 so the diameter of the wind turbine would be 2.6 so this will be the base torque and we have to multiply here so this is the base torque tv okay and this is the omega r and give it is here take a bus selector because I need the speed of the generator rotor so first I want electromagnetic torque and then rotor speed ok so watch here generator speed is in per unit but this one in actual value so what we have to do we have to convert it into per unit so how I will do just use this one so this will be the per unit value so why I am using this one to convert it into per unit So now I want to take measurement. So need a scope, and here I will be four. I need a first order filter. with this and we will take a gain of minus 1 so that this will be in positive ok just for our looking purpose and here it will give the rotor speed so just I draw and this one will give rotor speed it is already here so we can try it again now we need a VI measurement and here I will take no measurement Now I need a AC to DC converter so I will use universal phase I will use diode phase I need measurement so 
voltage measurement I will take that is line to line voltage I will measure here and current measurement I will take RMS here I will use 50 Hz and the sample time is 50 power minus 6 here also I have to use the sample time E power minus 6 and this one is 50 Hz here also I need we need again We need a product again. This gain we will require. Again, one more gain I will take to make it into kilowatt. To make it into kilowatt. And this gain is for row 3. SQRT of we will require a display So this will give AC voltage, sorry, AC power extracted by EMSC. Okay. So just make a subsystem. So a space will be here. Okay, after that, take RLC branch, series RLC branch. And here I will take RC. And this value will be 0 0.005 and 500 e power minus 6 so that the output of the rectifier would be ripple free
Okay, so now we will connect this one here. So this one will be VD, okay, VDC. So also we will require a current measurement so here I will put first I will modify its name this is I not sorry IDC After that, in case of a boost converter, we will require a okay. So, for a boost converter, uh, we all know that we uh, have two elements one is inductor, another is capacitor okay and one switch that would be IGBT diode or MOSFET like that switch so first I will complete this circuit and then I will tell how we have cal we can calculate all the values okay so this would be a inductor I am not giving any value here so this is the inductor value of the boost converter and then we will require a switch IGBT diode I will use this one and I will uncheck here okay so this will be connected here and this one here we will require a diode here we will require a diode so that boost DC DC converter would be totally unidirectional and one capacitor we will require boost capacitor so this one will be here ok and here we will connect load so this will be load R L I am not giving any value here right now ok so this is shit this is the DC DC boost converter 
ओके जैसे 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 पोस्ट करना होता है so now we have to see how this converter will work okay so for that what we have to do we have to use mppt so now i will develop no so let's see how to calculate this uh, dc dc boost converter before that one thing i will tell that uh, in uh, photovoltaic solar generation the thing is very dip different you know because uh, there uh, the in uh, this rectifier will not be there okay in uh, pv photovoltaic system we are getting directly dc Power, but here uh, that is not the case. So thing is not uh, as it is similar uh, to that, but a little bit different. So uh, there are different types of uh, MPPT method, but I am going to use very simplest one for the tutorial purpose. That is perturb and observe based MPPT algorithm. And uh, the DC DC boost converter uh, I designed in a method which i will explain one thing is very important we have to design this pmsg in such a way that here we will this uh, low value okay low ac value so that here uh, we will get a low uh, dc voltage okay if you will get high voltage uh, means in my previous video if you will observe there the pmsg output is 500 voltage okay voltage is 500 so if you will convert that in dc as per the rectifier output so you will get uh, 300 or 400 like that well or more than of that so in that case uh, if you want 400 volt output at the uh, output of the dc dc converter in that case you have to use buck converter okay so uh, to uh, with all these uh, expectations and assumptions uh, what i am doing that this pmsg output would be small value okay within 100 volt or uh, 200 volt and dc voltage it will give okay 100 or 110 volt dc output here we will get so that easily we can boost it so uh, just watch what calculation method i use for this dc dc converter so just watch this carefully this minimum voltage this is the minimum output voltage available at the rectifier output and output of the dc dc converter will be 400 and the rating of this power dc dc converter would be for 1200 kilowatt sorry 12 12 kilowatt and the switching frequency of the circuit will be 20 kilohertz and the efficiency of the dc dc converter will be 0.95 so duty cycle will be calculated with this formula okay and the i naught will be okay this using this formula then a ripple current will be calculated with this formula similarly the ripple voltage will be calculated with this formula okay and the inductance will be calculated like this and capacitance of the boost converter will be calculated like this okay and the minimum load to be applied that should be more than of this rl equal to v out by i naught okay so uh, watch this carefully and calculate accordingly so just in one click all the calculations will over because of that reason, 
I use this. Okay, so I will click and just see it. What is the value of the capacitor? That is 6.6094 e power minus 4. Okay, so just copy, I will copy this one. Okay, here. I will copy it and paste here. I will take 4 here and this one 0 0.005 okay similarly what is the inductor value this one okay so just copy and paste here so this is the inductor value Okay, so now you got how to calculate inductor value and the capacitor value of the DC DC post converter. After doing that, now we will implement the MPPT which I am going to use. So, this is butter and observed MPPT algorithm, and this one I will use. I will implement to switch on and off the IGBT switch. So I will take a subsystem here. So how I will do this? Many people use programming but I am not going to use programming here. I will use Simulink method so more people will understand. So first what, what we have to do? Uh, we have to sense voltage and current and calculate power so do that voltage and current will be sensed here okay and with the product show that it will be it will give power so this is pn okay So PN now I will so this will give PN try to understand carefully if you will understand one then easily you can do other difficult uh, uh, algorithms okay so next next what we have to do uh, we need PK n minus 1 okay that is k minus 1 is here but i am considering n minus 1 so p k n minus 1 that means there is a delay okay so how we will you uh, delay it using a memory okay just use this one don't do anything inside this okay so now this one will give P n minus 1 okay P n minus 1 now what we will do next this is del P that means we have to compare P n minus P n minus 1 so take a sum 
so this is pn and here it is okay so here i will get del p similarly one more thing we have to do that is del v so del v how we will do okay now we will uh, have to calculate del v so this is the voltage okay and this one will be okay this is v and this is pn minus 1 so this will give dv okay okay next so del p greater than 0 up this one output is nothing but d okay so this one output is nothing but d so how to implement this just use a switch okay use a switch here and this threshold will be 0 and u2 greater than threshold and this one will be duty d this one okay so this is nothing but d d after that here two more condition is here this condition so for that we have to use two more switch this one and this one and this one would be for db less than 0 and this one would be for dv greater than 0 so condition will be this one ok same condition here and this condition would be same just i will use reverse connection but this one d is equal to d plus del d and d is equal to d minus del d this also we have to implement so how to implement it just use a add okay so first one would be d plus d d and next one would be d minus d but here should be minus after doing this what we have to do del we have to import okay this is nothing but actually this is d is equal to right and here also d is equal to that means previous d we have we should have previous information also so for that what we have to do how we will use that so d is here okay i will use small d so this one will become 
d minus d okay previous d okay so this will become d l d okay and this will come here and here we need to use a constant and value of this one would be then zero this one if this one is true so this one not true this one so connect here and this one will be connected here this one will be connected here and this one will be connected here okay and this one would be connected here this one will give the condition after that this would be connected here this one will be connected here okay so carefully watch this and try to understand oh, how i implemented implemented this one so now i will use a saturator here here i will put infinite i will go back because it is completed and this is the voltage and this is the current here i will take repeating signal repeating sequence and already i said that uh, the output sorry uh, switching frequency is 20 kilohertz so here we have to take 1 by 20 kilohertz and here i will take 0 0.9 I need a comparator that is greater than equal and this will be take a go to here 
I will write here pulse. what is the minimum load to be connected more than of this is rl equal to v out by i naught so this is nothing but 13.33 this one so minimum more than of this load we have to apply so here i will apply 13.5 now again we need voltage source uh, sorry voltage measurement and this will be the output voltage v not v out and here we need to connect a current measurement that is i not i not and we will take min okay 50 h Sample time here I will take 50 per minus 6. So here also we will take product so that it will give. Take again one divided by thousand to make it into kilowatt. We will require a display. I need little space okay I need a scope to watch the DC voltage waveform. So approximately it is completed, and I am very sure that it will show the result. Here I want to see the voltage. Here I want to see the current. So this is this would be the line to line, and this would be I line to line. Okay, so I will save it. DC DC 
wind. So now I will run it. Okay, so uh, just watch that uh, it is giving the AC power is 12 or 13 kilowatt, which is not correct, means we have some issue with this. So already here I have used 1.732, so here we cannot use, okay. so. This one I have to change. Here we cannot use. Okay, so here I will write SQRT T of SQRT of three. Okay, so now problem will be solved and it will give correct result. Okay, so how much power it is giving? This is 7 point something. AC power is extracted and the DC power here is 5.862. Okay, I will use one display. Sorry, be out. Okay. So now I will connect one more display here to watch the input voltage coming to the DC DC converter and to watch this waveform I will make some modifications here like that ok and now put here 13.5 as I said that minimum desired minimum load value we have calculated from this okay this one 13.33 so more than of that that is 13.5 I have taken and I will run for that and I will observe what amount of power it is extracting so it is extracting 5.86 and voltage is 281 and run for it for infinite time it will run but just see what is going to be happen 
with 13.33 just wait and watch so it is going to be filled okay so definitely we have to use the load value minimum 13.5 and what would happen if I will use 54 at that time the output voltage is approximate nearby 400 and the extracted power is 2.936 which is less compared to previous one okay but run it for infinite time it will definitely do okay but what is going to happen if i will use 56 just more than of 54 then you will observe that output voltage is more than 400 and extracted power is okay just watch that will this system is filled definitely it should fill because the desired output of the DC DC converter should be 400 not more than that that's why it is failing okay what would be if I will use 35 or 40 or any value between 13.5 to 54 run for infinite time it will give result it will not fail so this is the limitation of perturb and observe algorithm in the wind energy generation system. Now I will watch how is the waveforms okay like this. Just zoom it. Not bad. Look. Okay. What is the voltage like this here it is perturbing and it is achieving the maximum value okay so in this way we can implement perturb and observe algorithm in wind energy generation system so uh, it is for tutorial purpose that's why i am using simplest method okay of mppt I am very sure that you people will watch this video and you will try and you will start your project work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please subscribe my video and share among your friends so that they will also get some knowledge.